Hi everyone, I'm Brian Mackey, Product Manager for RMM and I'm here to give you an update on all the releases we've put out in January. Filmed this time from a greenhouse, I thought I'd add that to the list of uh, random locations to film these from. So uh, let's get started with Apple device management. We've extended the capabilities that we recently introduced for Mac workstations to also cover iOS devices. So iPhones and iPads have now upgraded to also uh, support configuration profiles and you can enroll your iOS devices uh, with the same Apple certificate that you enroll uh, Mac workstations with. This is because in Apple's world, they're all Apple devices that are managed through the same backend protocols and processes, and we're tapping into this. So this really puts our Apple device management at the forefront of what a traditional Windows first RMM platform can serve. Uh, very exciting. We'll continue to invest in this area as we broaden our device coverage uh, now with additional Apple support. Speaking of broadening device coverage, we also went GA with our latest Linux agent, uh, version 204, and this includes support for the Raspberry Pi, uh, another uh, leading move that extends the device types that you can monitor in RMM. Uh, and this is on the back of our support for the ARM chipset uh, processor that uh, Raspberry Pis use. Uh, and we'll continue to, to build out in this area uh, as well. We also just announced, we're very excited uh, about this, uh, the ability for you to use remote access on network devices under management. So routers, printers, switches, uh, firewalls, uh, and so on. Now, uh, once you've added a network device under management, you will see an option uh, on, the, the, on the north pane to start a remote access session. This uses SSH connection, so as long as the endpoint the device advertises support for this protocol, you'll be able to use SSH to remotely interact with the endpoint. And this really enhances uh, what you can do in terms of monitoring and, and now management for network devices in RMM. And then speaking of remote access, we also GA'd the uh, latest Mac agent 360, and this adds support to remote background management for Mac devices. So uh, really a whole series of uh, updates to Linux, to Mac, to network devices as we continue to broaden the support and portfolio of devices you manage. I'd also like to take a moment to remind you about uh, updating the RMM agents in, in general, and specifically uh, the Windows Agent 10917. As we announced, there is a digital certificate that's going to be revoked uh, come March 8th, is, is the date that we currently have. And although the advanced monitoring agent itself doesn't use the affected certificate, some of the services that it uh, deploys do, for example, patch management, or the agent that's used by some of the automated tasks to run scripts. We're able to update those for you in the background. However, if the device is offline, doesn't connect between now and that re revoke date, it's possible, uh, or in fact likely, it will not be able to update to those new certificates. And the best thing for you to do is to make sure that you schedule the um, Windows agent, the 10.9.17, to, to update uh, on your devices. In general, please stay up to date with the latest GAA agent. Uh, it, it means that you're up to date with all the bug fixes and the other updates that, that go out in our agents. If you're behind on the agents, um, it, it, it means you're uh, lacking certainly uh, all the latest enhancements. Okay, that's our release updates and summary for January. I hope that's useful and stay well, stay safe and look forward to updating you again in a few weeks time. Thanks.